we're here in Chateauneuf de Pape, which is probably the most well-known of the Southern Rhone wine regions. Um, and this is a typical vineyard here with these huge stones called galley. And what happens is the sun warms up these stones and then transfers the heat into the vines. And that's what gives the Chateauneuf de Pape their uh, wines, their unique flavor. Um, and aromas and also the soils are very sandy clay soils so this is very typical of Chateauneuf de Pap and you're never very far away from the uh, Mont Ventoux there in the background and the jagged rocks of the Dantel de Mont uh, which is near Vaparas and in Chateauneuf de Pap uh, 13 different grape varieties are grown and the winemakers can actually blend up to all 13 of the grape varieties. In fact, some of the best houses here do indeed blend all 13 to create their wines. Great view here of Chateau Neuf de Pape on the hill with the chateau on the top. Not just a holiday retreat for the popes from Avignon, but uh, also as a, a defence post. Unfortunately, a lot of the chateau was actually destroyed in the Second World War um, and it was occupied by the Nazis who blew it up before they left in August 1944. It's just the one key wall remaining beautiful view of the village and all the lovely vineyards below this really rich red 